Hey everybody, I'm Chloe, also known to you on the internet as VegRaptor. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a 15-year-old Minnesotan cosplayer and huge Ruby fanatic. Um, people have been asking for this video, both on Tumblr, Facebook, elsewhere, Vine, my Rooster Teeth account, for a long time. Um, I can't really write it out in text format because it would be too long, too complex, and honestly, I just don't have time for that. So. Basically, this will be a walkthrough tutorial on how I made my Crescent Rose pop prop for my Ruby cosplay. So, in some of its glory, here it is. Its measurements are approximately, probably near 7 feet by 5 feet. Um, because I'm 5 foot 7 and that ends probably a head length with my head. Um, before I get too in-depth, I do want to say there's a lot of con damage. Uh, you probably can't tell from the camera, but there's a lot of chip paint. Um, that's mostly because it was my first time using spray paint and I had no idea what the hell I was doing. This is my first prop, so it's kind of flawed, but I know about prop making. Also, one of these spears here just somehow went missing. Um, when my dad put this in the attic, he kind of fucked it up a bit. Also, there this little piece at the end is missing and it has an end spear but I wouldn't I didn't want to put that on because it would make the prop too tall and I wouldn't be able to go anywhere in the con um also these pieces are like 3d but these ones are drawn on and that's because I just ran out of time I finished this the night before the con so there are flaws to it, but I think overall, especially for a first prop, it's pretty decent and it's one of the most accurate Crescent Roses I've seen, not to brag. And my hot glue gun's still plugged in because I just got this out of my attic. Um, what I used to make it was I used a PVC pipe and that's what runs through this entire thing. So this isn't separate, it goes all the way up into the stock of this, whatever you call that. And I used insulation foam, which basically is a giant, like, purple sheet thing that you buy Lowe's or Home Depot and you use it to insulate your house, but it also works pretty well for props. It was my first time ever using such a thing, though, so it's... I didn't really know how to use it exactly, and spray paint eats away at foam, so I left the plastic coating on this and masking taped the edges, which you cannot really tell actually if you look at it, like this piece especially, you cannot tell. Um, this was also con damage from the masquerade. I had to have someone rubber cement it because I didn't have a hot glue gun at the con because I'm stupid. Um, so yeah, insulation foam, PVC pipe, spray paint, and then these, any little raised part like this, these are bottle caps that I spray painted and sharpied black. This is sharpied on, this is sharpied on. Um, this little, the scope is a uh, extra piece of PVC that was cut off of this because this is about three feet longer than it already is, which is crazy. So basically, and to walk you through this, the place's crescent rose folds when it goes down into its either gun form or its like little storage form. This swings in here, and then this kind of scrunches up like that. And this scrunches up, and then this part, I believe, swing, or this part goes like this and swings like that. And then I don't even know how the gun part works, but. So when you do it, you have to consider where all the joints are, and basically how 3D you want it. Because it would be very easy just to have, like, one piece and then cut, or and then just, like, draw on all the different parts. But the problem with that is it's not very accurate, and in my opinion, it doesn't look very good. So if you look like this, you can actually see that my crescent rose is two-sided, so it's three-dimensional. Um, there's pretty much two of every piece. There's one of this piece I'm laying on the floor, um, and there's raised circles here because I thought it would look better. It did, but certainly necessary bitch to cut if you know. Especially, I don't really lazily know I want to do that is because it like spits this out a bit. These um, I, I also this parts gray, and these are I guess you could infer because they're gray, but the blades the on of Christmas so mostly 
the, in this curvature, not in most minimal. The gun part and set for actual pieces because these are ex these hold the little blade at the edges. Hold. Um. Oh yeah, and this part, the these parts over here, because they're connected to the PVC pipe which holds up the scythe itself. You need super reinforcement because. For the majority of this, I used hot glue, but these have screws. So there's a, two screws here that hold it here. There's screws here that hold it, it to the box, which holds it to the PVC pipe. Um, there's screws here, and that's just because this black piece would wiggle otherwise, because it doesn't really connect to anything except for these red pieces. So, yeah, that's that from that angle. Um, from this angle... I think it's probably the best angle because you can't really hit it on anything. You can kind of see inside there. This hangs more to one side, but you it's mostly just gravity. You can't really tell. Um, if I could glue it there, I would, but I'm lazy and I'm just, I don't know. Um, these, I wish I would have done a better job on. I just sharpied these on, but I'm really bad at drawing, so they're just kind of... Bleh, but no one really notices that. And now on to the gun part. This, believe it or not, was probably the part I had the most trouble on. It, it was the first part I did, my family screaming downstairs. Um, so basically, it has a lot of indents and things like that. I'm pretty sure I didn't do this exactly accurately because I know there's a piece of like, Goes there, I don't know. This is probably the least honestly, I I I love it when this is accurate, but it's probably the least important part to get accurate just because no one will really care to notice. But I am very picky when it comes to my cosplays. And especially because this was a masquerade piece, I needed to have it really nice. And yes, I am wearing red and black pants because those are my favorite colors. I was influenced by her as evidenced by my room. So yeah, this part has a lot of intricacies with how it's um, cut. I think that if you want to just leave it a PVC pipe, no one except hardcore fans will really notice. So if you're doing this as one of your first props, it's probably a better idea. Speaking of which, I would not recommend this to first-time prop makers. I just did it because I knew a lot about making props beforehand, and that's why I decided to do it. But if you have not made a prop before, I would not recommend it. Um, maybe try its gun form or its folded up form, but definitely do not do this. I kind of regret doing it. There's a lot of things I'd do differently if I did it again. Um, but yeah, that's basically Crescent Rose. There's the ammo box here. I think the most important things to have are the reference images. Because Monty Ohm posted, like reference images of Crescent Rose from like every angle imaginable and I think that's what really helped me on this instead of just having it be like a flat piece of wood or whatever. Oh also what I used to cut this um I don't have any woodworking equipment so I don't have like a bandsaw or anything so I used like a steak knife to cut all these out um on the big sheet I would draw out the shapes I needed and then I'd cut them out with my knife like like hacking like this towards my lap. I never cut myself though, so that was probably good. Um, and I just kind of cut these out, masking tape the edges. That was a bitch. That took really long. Um, sanded them if I needed to. Painted them outside of my patio. And uh, yeah, just did that. This, the PVC pipe, I think if you go to like Home Depot, you can ask them to cut it down for you, but I had a handsaw and my dad just did it for me. Um, he didn't really help me much with this, but he did for a little bit, which was nice. Um, also, if you don't have like a minivan or a truck or some sort of big car, I also would not recommend making this prop unless you want to make this detachable, which I didn't because it would flop around too much. Um, another thing I would recommend, if you can, if you could get like an elbow joint that goes like this and just goes a little bit into here, it's so like a short PVC pipe like that. It would probably help a lot with stability because this one kind of is a bit flimsy. Um, 
yeah, for my first prop, there's a lot of things I do differently, but overall, I think it's pretty good. It's got a good reception. Um, Lindsay Jones, voice actress of Ruby herself, actually reblogged my cosplay, so shout out to Lindsay because you're awesome and I look up to you a lot. And yeah, basically, reference images, materials used, all that is super important. It's totally up to you whether you want to follow what I say or not. But that's what I did, and it was a fucking bitch to do. But I did it, and, you know, I'm very happy with my results. So, um, if you like this, I guess subscribe and like and comment. Whatever YouTubers do this shit if you want more. Um, because I could do a walkthrough on my outfit or any of my other cosplays. I probably won't go through making anything, like, hand by hand, unless people actually, like, really want that, because that would require buying a lot more materials and all that shit, and I just don't have the money nor the time to do that. But, um, if you want me to walk, th walk you through stuff, how I walked you through Crescent Rose, um, I could do that. Or if you just want a short, quick, explanation of something, just shoot me an ask on Tumblr, vedraptor.tumblr.com, or you could shoot me a message or comment or something on my Rooster Teeth account, which is roosterteeth.com slash vedraptor. Um, so, yeah, that's all. Oh, one last thing. I want to show you what spray painting does. It makes your picnic table so punk rock. So that's all from, uh, me, or... Crescent Rose. See you next time.